up friends this is rashmi in today's video let's do a pot painting so the theme what i have chosen is a beach theme and i have given just one element that's an umbrella and uh, you could give more elements you can have figures or beach toys anything that you see on beach and if you want you can give it on the other side too but i've just given it on one side and made it very simple and the paints what i have used here is deco arts patio paint you can use any paint for that matter any acrylic paint and you need to varnish in case if you are keeping these pots outdoor and if you have a plant and if you want to water them you have to varnish them otherwise what happens is the paint will peel off also in different seasons when this is exposed to different seasons the color might wear off so i usually varnish that varnish can also be of any brand i just just uh, go through it uh, make sure it is non toxic and uh, when you varnish them you have to be always outdoor and wear a mask for your protection and and what else and the pot can be of uh, any shape this is one without the belt or the rim here and most of us might have uh, these kind of uh, one this we can paint on this too it can be any 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 shape any size for that matter so some of us who are beginners who is new to painting might think this is a complicated uh, this design it's a seascape or a landscape but this isn't it's a simple one i'll guide you through the whole process it's just three colors we just uh, paint them horizontally and uh, this element what uh, i've given here is just a semicircle and few more semicircle and a line and when we give a shadow to it it gives life so so let's get started here is my terracotta pot. I have washed, dried and there is absolutely no dust on that pot. So it should be really clean. Then only you get to start cleaning it. So before um, painting onto any surface, let it be pot or bottle, anything, you have to prime the surface and prepare the surface for painting. Here I've used Artist Loft uh, Primer for priming. It can be of any brand. And even, even if you don't have a primer, you can just use white paint. And for our design, I have taken four colors, blue, light blue, uh, white and brown and a, a little yellow ochre too. In, in your mind, you can just divide uh, the pot into three like top, middle and bottom for a sky, sea and a beach respectively. So let's start uh, painting with the sky. I have taken a light blue and you might observe here i am painting it all from horizontally from one end to the other because whenever a paint dries the strokes the brush strokes will be visible so it's always better to uh, use a pattern like always do it uh, for this particular design always do horizontal brush strokes and also not just uh, yeah, light blue add a little dark blue too to add the depth otherwise it will look very flat it looks just like one blue color so I have, to, I have added some blue color to it and I have not primed inside of the pot if you want you can prime inside too I just uh, use whatever extra colors I have and I uh, color inside of my pot so priming inside is an option. Here I have a uh, painter over the rims and our sky is almost done. Now let's go on to our clouds. And while drawing a cloud need not be a perfect shape cloud because cloud has no shape first of all. And also when we see from distance it uh, doesn't matter. You just need to add some white color and just brush it off. Just keep in mind let's not make it too thick and coming to a C, the first layer what we put should be a straight line and because it is the place where the sky and the sea meets and it should be of the darker blue the darkest blue water we have taken because there are no waves it will be always dark and uh, it shows depth in a painting and coming towards the beach you can have very light and whenever you're loading uh, load the brush and do it wherever the darkest color or the thicker the way there is depth and while coming to a beach the brush has no much paint so you just need to lightly paint and it can be uneven too need not be a even or a straight line when you are uh, touching when the water is touching the beach 
so here I'm giving just pearl white not the solid white pearl white just to show the waves in a distance and you can see when I'm coming to the beach there is absolutely no paint I'm not loading any paint it's just a dry brush with a little blue color take another uh, brush uh, this I've used a flat brush for the beach and have used yellow ochre and dark brown color so whenever you're loading the brush start with the thickest uh, part which is at bottom of the pot because when we go towards the water the color should be a little lighter and here even in on the beach I have uh, uh, just maintained or uh, followed the same horizontal strokes and you can add a little white too if you feel it's too thick you can see that I have not touched the yellow, uh, blue part of the water and now I have taken a little blue and a, a lot of water dip my brush in the brush in water so it looks transparent and the water is flowing over the beach or the brown color what we are given once we have done that the transparent layer of water will move on to the foam or the bubbles that you see in the waves waves which falls on or the moves on our beach so even this can be of uh, irregular like horizontal lines so you need not draw each and every bubble because it, we are, it's from a distance and it just need to be a little white in color that's it here I just draw some random lines that's it if you like to showcase your talent with other people, you can always upload your photos of artwork in my Facebook page called Rashmi's Vlog. In that way, you can inspire others too. And here, uh, let's choose a place for drawing our main element, that's an umbrella. So before drawing on in any next layer of paint, first you have to make sure the layer underneath that is uh, absolutely dry. And also paint first with white paint or the gesso what we have used the primer we have used because the paint which goes on to other color might show or mix with the, the background color and it might not show the true color it has so here I have taken a red and orange so if I directly painted on blue that wouldn't look the true red and true orange so I just painted uh, blue uh, with the white and uh, it can be of any pattern no, you need not keep any strokes or anything in mind it can be just randomly just draw the pattern so it's simple semicircles and you are a person who is interested in arts crafts and painting please do subscribe to my channel Rashmi's vlog and when you subscribe there is a bell button next to it if you click on it you get notification whenever I upload a new video so here I've given a shadow the shadow is a just a wavy line even for the shadow I've just painted with white later on will be painting uh, dark brown this particular design you can uh, just an idea I can give like if you're having an indoor decor if you want to use it as an indoor decor you can have a pot painting with the same design a, a bottle with the same design also a canvas with the same design and you can just uh, keep all the three in one place maybe the pot and the bottle you can keep it on the table and on the wall you can have the canvas with the same design it will look really good especially in summer season So here we are putting uh, just uh, the orange color. You can choose any color for that matter, any color. I just wanted it to have a contrast and vibrant look from far because it stands out on a blue sky. Here I have taken the dark brown color. And my line is not perfect you can see but it doesn't matter and the, uh, the shadow is a little wavy to show that the beach is a little bumpy now our artwork is uh, done 
so i have taken a little or whatever extra paints i have i have taken white and i have painted inside you can just uh, continue with the blue the sky i've just uh, done i've just taken y or sorry the red so it will look um, it, it will stand out from distance because i'm not planning to put any plant inside and even here in the bottom of the pot you can just continue with the sand the brown color but uh, to have a contrast look i have put blue and here our painting is done and if you're planning to keep this pot outdoors, uh, do varnish them. So before varnishing, make sure the all the paint is completely dry. Hope you enjoyed painting a lovely terracotta pot and hope you liked today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Bye bye. Take care. It's so beautiful. You and me